Hey guys, welcome back to Real Housewives Recaps. Today, we're talking Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. I'm excited because I haven't been recapping this, so I thought, you know what? I ended up binge watching it, and I thought, I just need to get some thoughts out here, and I didn't want to do it alone. Instead, I have some of my favorite people that I've done this with before. I have Amanda and Jody from We Love to Hate Everything. Say hi. Hello, Jen. Hi, hi Jen. Man. Thanks for having hi, us. Jody. Oh, anytime. So glad you're here. So I talk about them all the time, but I have to plug their podcast. We love to hate everything. It's fantastic. It's pop culture. Love it. I listen to it all the time. So definitely check them out. Thank you. So guys, yeah, no problem. Um, So uh, yeah, like I said, I I usually recap Beverly Hills. I kind of got sick of it. Didn't think I was going to watch it, but had to clean my house, like deep clean a bunch of rooms. So I was like, oh, I'll just turn it on. And it's, it's, it's a perfect show to it. clean your house, I feel, because it's so mindless. Mm-hmm. You don't really exactly. need to be watching anything. Yeah. So, I mean, just in general, what do, I just want to talk. What are your thoughts on the season? Who do you like? Who do we hate? I know who I hate. <laughs> what, are you, what are your thoughts? Either one. Take it away. Uh, well, I, 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 Amanda, I never, you go first because you're new yeah. to these ladies. Yes, oh, yeah. Okay. I am a I am a Real Housewives of Beverly Hills virgin, and okay. popped my cherry earlier this season. And me and Jody okay. have been recapping it on. Uh, actually, we're doing it on our Patreon. But uh, we, uh-huh. I didn't know any of these women. I'd heard of Erica James because of obviously the scandal. I know mm-hmm. Lisa Rinna. I think that's the only one I had ever heard of. Right? Okay. Yeah, mm-hmm. and uh, the Vanderpump. But when we started recapping the season, I had a lot of really hot takes that I realize are all wrong. I really, I was like, Erica <laughs> seems like such a fun gal. She's so charming. Oh, <laughs> and Kyle, what, love Kyle. What a great friend. Oh, Just, I've read a lot of bad takes. <laughs> so, and Jody's like, you're gonna, you're gonna change. You'll get it soon. Re- you'll yeah, get that's there. cute. That's a really yeah. cute opinion. I want to pat the top of your head. <laughs> I know, right? But I do get it now. I feel like I'm in the know now after watching ten episodes of this horribleness. Um, mm-hmm. And obviously, I mean favorites. I mean Diana, best housewife mm-hmm. ever. <laughs> oh, so God. universally likable. likable. Yeah, right. Not Ooh. problematic in any. Ugh. Would you rather hang out with Che Diaz or Diana? <laughs> I know. That I think I'd pick Che because one, at least dude. Che will pretend to be funny. I don't think Diana can even pretend. <sighs> yeah. Oh. oh, I mean, who's the bigger narcissist between the two of them? Yeah. Oh, gosh. That's, That's a tough true. call. It is. That yeah, is I don't true. know who I'd rather be stuck on a yacht with. <laughs> mm. Oh, God. Torture. So, Jody, have you always watched uh, Beverly Hills? Yes, I've watched it from the beginning. Okay. I I feel like there's two kinds of people with Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. There's Vanderpump fans mm-hmm. and okay. then anti-Vanderpump. I've never liked Lisa Vanderpump, and I, I know that might be controversial, but I do think that flavors the way people look at Beverly Hills, the way you watch it, because a lot okay. of people would love to have Lisa back. I'm mm-hmm. good. She's bye you're good you've had your seasons um i love the addition of garcelle she's exactly what this franchise needed and i think kyle has finally gotten to probably one of her final seasons i think if she were smart she'd step back after this fingers crossed i know for a long time people disliked her i never hated her the way a lot of people do until this season particularly okay. these last two episodes yeah and now oh, can't awful. stand her and so, Diana same too. uh no not the same i i didn't like <laughs> kyle now i did did you watch real housewives ultimate girls trip the first season at all i did so i liked kyle there i actually mm-hmm. liked okay. her in paradise i thought she i found her more likable less I don't know, because mm-hmm. she's always about, I had to buy this. Oh, I'm so bad. I have you a know. theory why, though. <laughs> oh, I why? I think she she didn't feel like she was in competition with okay. the wives on Ultimate Girls Trip, where okay. I feel like she really wants to, I don't know, like, for back of, lack of a better 
phrase just kind of like mark her territory like she just wants to pee on everything like this is mine this is my beverly hills you know Mm. that's such a good point that's i hadn't even thought about that like that i think she thinks like oh yeah cynthia bailey she's nothing against me i'm like oh Mm. Teresa, whatever she doesn't see them as competition true yeah uh, and I think Ramona was wholly unlikable, oh, so it made everybody else like yeah, her. Totally. It's like her into this season. Uh, unlikable, so you kind of like everybody else, okay? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Ish, yeah. <laughs> um, oh, go ahead. Yeah, yeah. No, I was going to say, so what did you think of Kyle? So in general, I've just never been that big of a fan. Um, okay. I... Oh, <laughs> I felt for her when she was dealing with the Kim of it all, because sure. that's got to be a lot having the de- fa- family dynamic yeah. and the, you know, alcoholism, all that stuff. But I don't know. I just, I, I don't know that she brings much besides the splits to the storyline. Oh, the so. splits <laughs> enough. You know how you talk about floor is lava. I mean, it's like crutch oh, is lava, gross. right? Yeah. Jeez. yeah. And I think the Kyle Mauricio happy marriage, happy family thing is just getting shoved down our throats. And now he's got a new spinoff on Netflix. Yes. I Ugh. heard the same thing. Yep. It's going to be, I guess, their version of Selling Sunset, something like that. Yeah. Where it's the agency. But isn't he pairing up with PK, uh, Dorit's husband? I oh, is he? God. Well, I that's a so. terrible idea. Yeah. I think I that's a terrible why. idea. I don't know what PK would have to do with it, but that's what I've heard. He's somehow. Well, how would, how does PK have time to do that when he's uh, his whole life has to be centered around boy George? Boy George? Yeah. <laughs> well, no, around. I don't know if you heard this, but she had a little break-in situation, oh, and she gosh. went through a little. little oh, we should probably man. do a full recap of that next episode because I'm not sure if I. If I know how Dorit feels about it these days. The way she manages to shoehorn that into every conversation and juxtaposing that, seeing the way all the other women react, like they're controlling every muscle on their face to not roll their eyes. Like, Mm -hmm. here we go with Mm -hmm. this again. And the way she, I said she was dressed like Mary Todd Lincoln. And all yeah. of those where she was like, in her talking heads. <laughs> talking the Italian in widow. The morning look. dress. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> Enough. We got Very it. Very weird. Yeah, absolutely. Um, what are your thoughts on Crystal? Mm. Okay, I didn't no, mind you, her this is last a place season. Of honesty. Of this. We're honest. Uh huh. I, I don't like her now. I don't like her at all. No. Nope. Oh, totally agree. I, just, I didn't like her last she doesn't season, do though, either. Yeah, <sighs> yeah. I just yeah. Oh, I mean, I last find season, I was like, likeable. oh, she's she's fine. I I didn't have enough feeling about her one way or the other last season. Mm-hmm. This season, though, nope. There's just something about her that reminds me of that girl in high school. Yes. I don't know what that means, but I just feel like everyone knows. I feel that it. girl. I, feel it I don't know if it's like you didn't you don't trust her, or you could uh-huh. never get close with her. There's just something there. And to say over and over, Sutton said something dark, but I'm not going to tell you what it oh, is. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's like, no, I'm going to need to know what that is so I can decide if I like or hate Sutton. Mm-hmm. You know? like, because you so. do think the worst. Absolutely. You think like, oh, she must have said the N word, obviously, because exactly. she keeps saying it like it's the worst of the worst. It's so dark. It would affect her friendship. I have, I also, speaking of Sutton, I couldn't stand Sutton the first two episodes. She didn't have a great couple, first two couple episodes because, yeah, like, yeah. she's like, she with the break in thing, she's like, well, I have this guy, this <laughs> caterer coming over, or this designer yeah. coming over, and he's in trouble with immigration. Or... <laughs> yeah. But I think Sutton is the most compelling character on the show. I love her. I feel the same way. I didn't yeah. know if it's, I'm, I'm from Florida. I'm basically. I, touching georgia where i live so yeah so i just thought hmm, maybe it's because i know people like her. well not exactly like her but with that yeah. accent and stuff i'm familiar but i like her i like her very much now i i don't love that she does always have to bring up oh well this happened to me like if you're trying to tell me a story i probably shouldn't cut you off to tell you oh that happened to me too it's like no just listen right to but when it story. comes to bringing up a miscarriage I don't think that that's what she was trying to do there. I think she genuinely was trying to be like, I am so sorry. I can relate to that because I had to. Oh, the, be- the blue eyes. Oh, the, the blue eyes. They you know, cry weepy weepy. Diana is the devil. What mm-hmm. were they thinking with her? 
Oh, yeah. She's that gone to a place where she can't go back now. No, there's no coming back from that. One hit wonder for sure. Yeah. Mm-hmm. If this is where she's starting this dark, I can't imagine. At least it Oof. took Dorinda a little while to get this dark. <laughs> well, do you think they cast her thinking there was a potential of like, you know, like gay men out there would be like, yes, she's fabulous. Yes, I love what a bitch she is. She just tells it like it is. Mm-hmm. But they really re. Uh, they really didn't read it right. Like, they misjudged it. We already have one bitchy one. Well, we have several, but I'm thinking of Erica. You know what I mean? Right there, front and center. Do we need this, too? You know? Yeah. Mm. Um, okay, so this might be a little controversial. No, please. What do you think about Dorit's home invasion? Okay, no, that that's not <laughs> controversial. I, I've wanted to talk about it. My honest-to-God first thought was, oh, it's it's not real uh-huh. until I watched. Okay. And I, I do, I can't help but feel, I don't know. I don't, I don't think she'd be as good of an actress to fake it the way that she's this upset. That's just my personal okay. thought, but I get, I totally yeah. get why it's convenient. You know what I right. mean? Like in a sense, I, I totally get where you're going. That was my first because thought. Because PK does still it. owe several hundreds of thousands of dollars, if not millions. And remember, right around that Kyle, time that it was due. Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. Kyle got broken into. Uh, Her she very did, good friend. Erica who she's so did. close with, right? Yes. Erica did supposedly too. Mm-hmm. Remember, Tom confronted the burglar. Yeah, right. Yeah. You know, it's just like, oh, yeah, convenient. sure. Yeah. Okay. I didn't know that. <laughs> oh, Do yeah. you think um, perhaps it was like an inside plan job? But mm-hmm. still actually going through with it and having someone in your mm-hmm. home, even though you know it's perhaps allegedly a planned thing, that it could still be whew, upsetting because if that were real. Right. Maybe, you know, maybe. I, I don't, I don't, you don't, you're in a safe space. You can say it. We all think it. I get it. Yeah. I mean, I, I say this it's all the time to Amanda. Question. I'm like, I, I hope I'm right because it would be horrible if this were a real thing and if it yes. is a real thing. Right. What got me really doubting it was the fact that the night after, not even a full 24 hours after, she's leaving her kids yes. home with a, with PK's assistant. Like the yes. back glass is still blown out and boarded up. Totally agree with that. Yeah. And as no, a I mom, agree. I mean, you know, mm-hmm. you're a mom. Oh, yeah. Mm. Even if oh. you had a security guard there or something and something yes. like that happened, you would not be leaving your kids. Mm-mm. No, they would. Yeah, we would stay somewhere else until we figured it out. I don't think but I can Let go alone back to the be house. filming mm-hmm. with a film crew. And, you're, and PK goes straight from the airport to meet you. He doesn't yeah. even want to go straight home to the kids. That's a good point. Yeah, that's very odd. Very odd. And then to be like, no, have Harry's party. We can't wait to be there. So it's not like mm-hmm. two nights in a row you're not even home. Uh, yeah, that's just and, wild and to me. you need a vacation right afterwards. Is right. very weird. Again, away Oof. from your children. Yeah. Right. Yes, exactly. Right. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Yeah. Yes. Very I, suspicious. I don't know. It, it is very suspicious. Okay, so what's your thoughts on Lisa Rinna? I feel like she hasn't really done much this season. Her mom okay. passing away. Um, yes. I feel put a wrench in whatever drama was supposed to be happening yeah. with her. Right. Agreed. I think of the show, she's fine. I can see mm-hmm. why she gets under a lot of people's skin. For me, mm-hmm. I don't follow as much of the Twitter, Instagram drama stuff. So I... I'm probably not disliking her or hating her as much as I should. <laughs> yeah. It seems like that's where she does a lot of the dirty stuff that people talk mm. about. So I don't, yeah, I don't really keep up with her, Insta, uh, her social media, but uh, I, I can't stand her. I can't. I really? Just, I get this vibe of, we, I don't think we're getting a single real thing from her. I don't think anything okay. about her is real. But from exterior to interior, or interior you name yeah. it, I just don't think any of it's, I just, yeah, I get a, I get a creepy vibe from her. Okay, so do you think she's like a, like kind of a crappy person and she's pretending to be someone on the show? Or do you think she's like stirring up the drama for the show because she knows that's what she's supposed to be doing? Probably that. It's probably like a, I got to keep my name in people's mouths kind of thing. I got to stay relevant Uh, on the show. 
Okay. Is my that's just the feeling I gotcha. get. Gotcha. Very thirsty, I guess, as the kids say, right? Yeah. I mean, she <laughs> so. did do Denise Richards pretty dirty. Oh, that was pretty bad. So bad. And just what does she actually bring to the table? All we get is own it, own it. Yeah. It's, it's like no, it's that's getting not old. giving me anything. Yes, exactly. Not yeah. getting anything. And the Harry uh, Hamlet. Oh, and the Garcelle oh, spaghetti yeah. sauce stuff. That oh was so stupid. I couldn't believe when Jody told me that. I was like, that was a storyline? Because she oh, didn't yeah. call and say thank you again as she was eating it. Right. Oh, that's so ridiculous. Weird. Yeah, so weird. So and to be weird. like, my like, husband's feelings were hurt. I so love crazy. this. I know. Right, he's a grown man. Yeah. He's, getting, he's not five. Like, uh-huh. <laughs> um, but... I love that Sutton pulled out the receipts, though, to show, well, you didn't exactly thank me for the Elton John of it all. I thought yep. that was pretty great. But the way they turned it around on Sutton, even in that situation. Oh, Like, oh, the way she looked at us. and mm. Well, she knew you were going to be asking, so that's why she brought them. Exactly. And I think that's the, the beef I have with Kyle and Lisa is... When somebody like that provides the receipts and is trying to explain themselves, they have to cut her off and say, oh, well, that's just nasty. No, it's not. (laughs) You guys Mm -hmm. are a-holes. She knows what she's doing. And Um, the way Kyle manhandled Sutton during Garcelle's party, that needs to be talked about more. And actually, I just mentioned to Amanda when we were recapping this earlier, Mm -hmm. there's those never-before-seen episodes that they play on Bravo. I never watch those. But from what a lot of people are saying, in that episode, they showed a lot more of Kyle being way more aggressive than what we saw in the original episode. Really? I don't know like what... physically aggressive? Oh. Yeah. yeah, even more so. Oh my god. Whoa. No, That's thank you. crazy. And, and... I, wouldn't, I don't think I've ever touched a friend except to like no. give him a hug. Exactly. I, nor would I ever. It just no. wouldn't occur to me. I've never mm-hmm. had a sister. Do you guys have... Anybody have sister? <laughs> I have no, two neither, sisters. neither of us do. Okay. Jody doesn't no, actually have sisters. Wondered. She says she does, though. Oh. <laughs> she doesn't believe I have two sisters. I have two sisters oh. and a brother. Oh, I mean, my sisters and I, I should take that back. Well, well no, I guess no, my sisters, not my friends. Yeah. So, no, I just Oh, we have scars on our bodies from each other. <laughs> I didn't know if growing up with sisters, that makes you more likely to, I don't know, not think about putting no. a hand on a, another woman, but. I just, that's so weird to me. Yeah. But, but Kyle's the biggest asshole ever because of the whole miscarriage thing. You don't talk about right? somebody's struggles You don't like accuse that. someone of lying about no. it. Either. I've never heard of this before. Well, exactly. I don't lead with, hi, my name is Jody. I've had a miscarriage. The way Diana does. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, true. But yeah, no, exactly. That pissed me off. And it pissed me off when Kyle was talking about, um, she was thinking Garcelle shouldn't be so upset that Erica <gasps> was hitting on Oliver and talking crap to, a, to her little kid. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and it's like, okay, so if you're telling me, Kyle, if somebody said they wanted to have a threesome with one of your kids, you'd be yep. totally fine with it. It wouldn't be weird. No. Yeah. Oh, look at Farah. Oh my gosh. Yes, yeah. Let's have a three. Exactly. If PK and exactly. um, who else? Yeah. yeah, Mauricia. Or no, that's her. Yeah, step- that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. But PK and uh, Harry Ken- Hamlin. Yeah. There you exactly. go. Exactly. And then be oh, swearing at Portia. Get out of yes. here. And Kyle lied when. Okay, so you know she's gone on her apology tour of, well, I didn't hear Erica say that to him in that way, and I didn't know that he was so upset. If you go back and watch that, Kyle is standing right next to Garcelle and Crystal when oh. Crystal walks back with Jax and Erica oh, screaming at him. She was standing right there. She's fixing her shoe. So she was there, and she was the one who brought it up to Mauricio, PK, and Dorit when she's like, how about Garcelle, her son, when Erica yelled at him, you brought it up. So now you can't say, oh, I wasn't there. I didn't hear the context. Exactly. You are such a liar. Such a liar. And for somebody claiming not to be there and not to know it, she sure, like you say, bringing it up a lot and Uh stirring that pot. Yeah. I'm just being Mm -hmm. honest. I'm just being honest. Be honest, Uh Garcelle. It's the She's same terrible. thing as Lisa's own it. It's just like, no, get get a storyline, not just a catchphrase. Mm-hmm. Like, no. I so like that Garcelle just... and Sutton are sticking together, though. 
I do too. And that's why I wish Garcelle's friends, I keep wanting to call her Cherie, but I know that's not right. It's Cherie, right? Right. I like Cherie. She's only been in there a little bit. I know Jody had feelings, but <laughs> well, I just. Amanda, you have warmer. some intel on Cherie, right? Oh, tell that me. They may not have mentioned on the show. Oh, um, she was married to an actor. Oh. <laughs> Will Smith, <laughs> actually. She doesn't really? like to bring it up. <laughs> oh, well, did you know Garcelle actually dated Will Smith, too? Oh, that's right. I did hear that somewhere. They should talk that about funny? that, perhaps, on yeah. the show. Hmm, weird. It's it hasn't come up. That- that Garcelle keeps saying that to her friend. Your friend would know this. Yeah, I know. Yeah, they're, they're yeah, like, we don't know if they're going to edit this out, so let's bring it up again. Oh, Make God. sure we get that in. Um, and then, I know I'm jumping around. I know we got to time things. Go so we'll for it. it up, but um, Kathy Hilton, I've heard rumblings of rumors. What happened? Does anybody have the intel? I have, like, gossip stuff, but any intel? Yeah. What's going on there? Probably the I same heard she thing, said some yucky you know. things. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe uh, problematic. Was it the bad word toward gay people? Is that what it is? I heard that. And then maybe it was towards a black person. Okay. In that. Gotcha. I don't know. Same thing. So she's just crossing every box of horrible. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah, but do you know, was it planned for her to come in this late or have they just been editing it all out because of her cease and desist? I assumed that was the reason is because yeah. the coming out problematic afterwards. I don't, I don't know. Cause they, I, I mean, they've I'd done like a really good more. job of having plenty of events without her then. Yeah. yeah. It is weird. Yeah. I wondered, is she in the background of these or is it, is this, I don't know, time frame? Was this the yeah. same time as Paris's wedding and she was just legit elsewhere? I don't know the answer. Yeah. Busy paying people mm-hmm. to do all the planning and the hard work for her. <laughs> It's so tough. Yeah. Oh, so oh busy planning a wedding. Uh, oh. So then uh, lastly, Diana Jenkins, tell me about her. She's the worst, I know. But like, what's what's happening there? The book, I kept hearing rumblings of the book and I watched the episode and I thought we'd get more. What is it? Mm. And apparently there's heard... a lot of like Jeffrey Epstein type. Uh, That's what I wonder. Okay. Connections, yeah. possibly. Okay. Fair enough. Alleg- gotcha. Yeah, allegedly, allegedly, it, it was course, yeah. basically like a high-end, celebrity-driven book of available escorts. Allegedly, okay. I don't. Sure, know. of course, we don't. It, yeah, we, we're just guessing. It's a very elite book. That's why you can't purchase it. It's not that it yeah. didn't sell and didn't do well, and so they oh, it's isn't highly now. published. Because sure. that's what they do with really popular books. When a book is really popular. Like the Bible. They do one run of yeah. it that you pay for to publish yeah. it. And then they'll so, like, and it's I, like the Disney vault. They take it away so that you mm, want it more. Right. And it's like 300 or 350, something like that, a book, I right. what I heard. Something just totally It's probably asinine. downstairs with Diana's one third of her pre-baby storage. I, of her Vivian oh Westwood. Oh, <laughs> so they say. Mm. Oh she, I gosh. think she has zero redeeming qualities whatsoever. She's oh, agreed. not a one. It's just horrible. And, and the lip licking to the <gasps> awful personality. What is that? I t- so I've never. Okay. Hypothetically. Because I, I can't, you know, allegedly. Is yeah. that drugs? I don't know. Yeah, I, I don't her know. Mouth might be really, her my, her mouth might be dry. <laughs> oh, okay. I was like. I've never done... I've always wanted to take Adderall. Is that an Adderall thing? I don't know. What is that? That's a weird... It's it's like a Uh sweep of a lower... It is, and now I really do notice it a lot. It's awful. Yeah, it is. It's not a good tick. Even during the lunch with Sutton. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they were having that serious conversation. She was constantly... "Eh." (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Put your tongue back in your head. Maybe it's a Bosnian thing. Because I don't know if you know this, you guys, but she... Was actually born in I've Bosnia. I've heard that somewhere. I was yeah. a refugee in Bosnia. Yes. Mm. We would and headbutt and then, each other. Yeah. She's only been English speaking and out of the country for like six or eight months, I think. <laughs> no, oh, or, yeah. or, or almost her whole life. Mm-hmm. How do you say in wow. America? I don't know. No. Yeah. How do you say cucumber? Hillary oh, Baldwin. Right? <laughs> oh, don't even get me started on Hilaria yeah. Baldwin because <laughs> no. <laughs> That's a oh whole God. other episode. I could go on a rant there. Oh, that right said, my you. my son is actually his best friend. is was actually born in Bosnia, uh, and they lived here for 
quite a bit. They've gone back and forth, but um, not once have his parents who actually fought in the war ever brought it up, which is, you know, yeah. Hmm. Weird. Oh, weird. They don't <laughs> introduce themselves like that. Yeah. yeah I'm Bosnian. <laughs> right. Bizarre. And then I guess lastly, let's leave off on Erica. What are our thoughts on all of it? I do follow her social media some just to see how Ooh. awful she is. She is awful. Still? It's just like, oh, awful. Yeah, I haven't looked mm. at it lately, but I got to imagine. It's just all. I think she's, not, I think she's awful in a different way than Diana's awful. Because I think Erica's at least yes. watchable, whereas Diana is unwatchable to me. I get what you're saying. But yeah. yeah, Erica's not much watchable for I just oh that's no. part of the reason I didn't really want to watch this this mm-hmm. season, but I got sucked in. <laughs> I don't think she's doing herself any favors legally. Especially yeah. last night's yeah. episode. Bad idea. I'm not broke. I can yes. still buy whatever I want. I sold a lot of my collection. Not a good that idea. was a point of contention. I thought a judge said she couldn't sell her things. Maybe it was after this, who knows? But Ooh. I don't know. But yeah. it, it's not looking good. No, not at all. And just the, the, I just, I don't care if Oliver's a grown man. That's your friend's son. You don't Gross. make sex jokes with, I would yeah. never, because I'm like an aunt to my friend's kids, mm-hmm. you know, like I would never. Ugh. Or again, a, then, a married man uh, with four children. Yes, exactly. And then I thought that was problematic, actually, because she said, tell your baby mama yep. that I want to have a threesome. I'm like, no, no. That's his wife. Like, yeah. Are you going to go say that to uh, Chip from Beast over there? Diana's yeah. Oh, yeah, fiance? Absolutely. We call him Chip from Beast because he said, well, he was Chip in Beauty and the Beast. He was Chip right? in the first national tour of Beauty and the Beast. Oh, I totally missed that. When he was like eight years that. old. Okay. Well, yeah. you, so we call no, him Chip from Beast. You <laughs> didn't miss it. He was sitting down with the guys when they met him. I think it was at Harry Hamlin's dinner. And he's uh-huh. like, yeah, well, I grew up on Broadway and I've done Broadway. So Amanda uh, Googled him and he was, uh-huh. you know, like when he was eight, uh, oh, he okay. did. And he wasn't even on Broadway. It was like the tour. It was the first national tour. Sure. So oh, that's his wow. Broadway Beast. claim to fame. <laughs> Well, you Grew up on Broadway. Right? <laughs> yeah, you yeah. have something. <laughs> if you have nothing else going on for you and that's your girlfriend, then you got to. Oh, oh exactly. That, <laughs> you ask about wow. Bosnia morning, noon, and night. Whatever that's you got to right. do. That's your job now. Yep. It kind of creeped me out how he's talking about um, Diana's daughter in this one. Let's call. I don't know the girl's name, but it's like. Nay, nay. He's like, let's call Nay, nay. Yeah, whatever. Hey, girl. It's like. <laughs> Like, She's a year younger than you, man. Weird. Yeah, exactly. Ooh. You guys went to school together, no? no. Uh huh. <laughs> weird. Yeah. Oh. No, he's Very three weird. years older than her daughter, and I think a year older than her son. Gross. Uh huh. No, thank you. Oh, and he did gross. baby talk when her son and daughter came down. He's like, "Oh, oh. here you guys are. The baby went sweepies." Oh I'm like, Ugh, God. Gross. Yeah. No, no. You're not much out of diapers either, mister. You yeah. shut your mouth. <laughs> yeah. Ugh. Oh, my gosh. Well, you guys, thanks so much for talking about this with me. I really appreciate it. It's nice to talk yeah. to people about this craziness and to get this fun. out there. Yeah, Ryan, thank you for coming on our Total Request podcast. We just did a, a two-hour episode. Thank you so much, Jen. For yeah, the finale. We're doing series finales month. And so, yeah, the podcast was going great. And then... The very last minute of audio just cut out. But what Amanda was saying was they have their podcast. There's this We Love to Hate Everything podcast. It's so good. It's pop culture. It's so much fun. Definitely check that out. We just talked for two hours on the Sex and the City season finale. So that'll be coming out, I believe, next week. Um, They also have a Patreon, We Love to Hate TV, where they break down shows So check that out as well. It's Amanda and Jody. They're wonderful. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've kind of enjoyed this, I don't know, random collection of thoughts on Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. It was a lot of fun to watch. I was not really, I kind of lost interest in it, but I kind of regained it re-watching it or watching the series, I should say. So stay tuned. I don't know if I'll continue to recap it or not, but I just wanted to get some thoughts out there. And if you're watching it, let me know in the comments what your thoughts are. Who do you like? Who do you hate? Do you agree? Do you disagree? I welcome all opinions. Thank you so much. You guys have a wonderful day and I'll talk to you again soon. Take care. Bye-bye.
Thank you.